Our gracious Heavenly Father, we do thank you, dear God, again, for this opportunity to lift you up in prayer. Lord God, you've given us this, this avenue of communication with you that is just uh, beyond wonderful. And we just thank you so much that we can take this opportunity uh, to get involved in that. And Lord, we, we want to start out by, by praying for Central Bible Leadership Institute, for all those people that are there. Lord, this, uh, this, this earth uh, needs people that are grounded in Scripture and can, uh, can talk about it and to present it in such a way that, uh, that, that it makes sense. And, that, uh, and, because, and because we have uh, such a deep knowledge of it, uh, dear God, your Holy Spirit can just use what we say and just take it to the hearts of those that we have these uh, conversations with. And those that are at CBLI and uh, getting even deeper and deeper into the word, dear God, we pray that your blessing would be upon them during this time of study and reflection and memorization and all the things that will go into them being a, a better person to communicate your love to others. So we thank you for that opportunity that they're having and look forward to seeing the results of that. Uh, Lord God, uh, because of uh, uh, that personal uh, experience uh, in our life right now with our uh, granddaughter uh, looking forward to marriage, uh, Lord God, we're going to pray for marriage. Uh, we pray that uh, you have instituted that way that uh, two people come together uh, to honor you, to spread your word, to bring up children that love you. And Lord God, uh, what's going on in our society today is not good. Uh, we see the, uh, the, uh, how easy it is for marriage to break up. We don't have that same uh, passion for it at, uh, that we used to. And Lord God, we pray that you would help us to change that. We pray that uh, through your Holy Spirit, you would impress upon this nation how important marriage is, dear God, and a good solid marriage where, uh, where it's a, a combination of two equal people serving you. So Lord God, we, uh, that's all we can ask is that you would be involved in that. Uh, that uh, as we uh, spend our quiet time uh, praying f for that also, dear God, that uh, you would uh, honor that for us and, uh, and just help this society uh, be better able to serve you. And Lord God, thinking of our society, there are things going on, <coughs> excuse me, today that uh, are, are very, very troubling. And dear God, the only thing that, uh, that can correct that is of course us standing up for you and getting your word out. So again, dear God, as there's this civil war of morality going on right now, <coughs> I'm sorry, dear God, that you would help us to be uh, a shining light for your goodness and for your truth. And Lord, that would take some, some effort on our part. It would take some preparation. It would take, of course, us leaning on you uh, to make sure that we, uh, we have that, uh, that desire and then that, uh, that, just that ability and, uh, so that we can share your word with others and just live our lives in such a way that would be honoring to you. So Lord God, as we spend the rest of this time together, we pray that you would continue to lift us up to you. And we're just so looking forward to hearing Lieutenant Robin's message, dear God, as she, uh, uh, as she draws us closer and closer to you through her words. And uh, thank you so much for this opportunity to be together, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> 